most of you don't really know about the immediate window, um, and I'm here to tell you how great the immediate window is. So I'm going to click it's view, awesome. I'm click immediate window, and you can see I actually practiced this beforehand. So let me, uh, I'm going to hit Control A in here to select everything and then hit delete. Um, so what the immediate window lets us do is print out information uh, while we're running code. And it also does, allows us to do a little bit more, but I'm just going to show you this example. So when I type in debug.print, that is telling me to do to print to the immediate window. And just to show you it in action, you see there's debug.print, debug.assert, uh, and assert we won't get into um, here. So I'm going to tell it, tell Excel to print out um, uh, our for loop integer to the immediate window. So I'll just hit F5 real quick to run it. As you can see, it ran very quickly down here. So what's so great about this? Well, if you have a huge iterative process and you need to have status updates, um, you can have a print out down there. Of course, if you're also running through code and you're wondering if it got to a certain point um, and you don't want to do a break, you can also uh, just say I can put a debug debug.print here. I can write hello. Not really a good example, but let's see here. It was up there. Um, let's just get rid of this real quick just so I can show you. You can oh, see it came oh, right down there. Through the Great. <laughs> so, uh, what else can you do with this? Well, you can also actually do calculations down here in, in the immediate window, and I like to clear it out first because it kind of gets a little funky. So, you can say um, debug.print, and you can always do whatever you wanted. So it's, it works like this. You, it works like runtime or a command line code. So something we can do here is, let's say I am looking at this sheet, and I have a selection here, and I, I kind of want to know what the width is of it. Or let's say I want to know something else, but width is the one I, I uh, practice with in my head. I can say debug.print selection. Dot width, and this prevents me from actually having to write a whole test procedure. I can hit enter, and it's going to give me that answer. Of course, you know how to do that really quicker? Like, how do hey, I here's do that a tip. quicker? Oh, here's bring, another bring, tip. Bring the immediate window back up. Um, now, in the line, okay, delete that. D just delete that stuff. We'll start fresh. Type a question mark. Right. So I was. So the question mark is the shorthand. Yeah. Right. A lot shorter. And, and so and the question you mark, put, you could put a whole so, bunch of stuff in there. Uh, question mark selection dot width comma selection dot height comma selection mm -hmm. dot font dot size. I and, think the, the question mark is the most interesting one because when I did used to do quick basic, that was the shorthand for print. So it's kind of like debug dot print is the <laughs> they maintain that. But yes, uh, as John was saying, you can add. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, John. No, that's okay. I, I didn't know you knew that. So yeah, so that is the shorthand, um, and you can add commas if you want to do if you want to do more, and it, it'll give you this sort of tabbed printout. I'm trying to think what else we could do. Well, since the IntelliSense doesn't come up, you know, I can't think of stuff off the top of my head. I've I've well, grown we'll used to that. Selection. But you can you can right. do arithmetic operations, and if you don't put the comma there, you can write commands. You can do selection dot column width equals ten, and it'll make it ten characters wide. Right. So this is so. What's great about um, let's get rid of that first. So what's great about this? Uh, I think we have to use the other yes, column width. Other width. Yeah, column width. That's it. Um, what's so great about this is it lets you it lets you run code immediately, and you don't have to um, put in a procedure. So if you haven't if you haven't started using this, remember it's under View um, Immediate, and it really if any of you have done Quick Basic back in the day, if you'll remember that immediate window. So this, I really love this. Um, it's great for when you want to find information on the fly, and it's great to make changes immediately. Sometimes, um, I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, John, but if you have a public variable and you um, do a pause break, you can go down here and you can change that variable. Let's say you're stuck in a loop. Um, Not even a public it. variable. You can, of course, a variable you can mouse over in the code and it'll tell you, but... Um, but you can, but sometimes you, uh, maybe I'm wrong on this because I didn't... <laughs> Uh, sometimes, I think if it's a public one, you can type it in down here and you can set it equal to something and then it will safely leave the loop. You know what, maybe I'll, I'll come up with an example on that uh, next time. I probably um, could be, I, I could it be doesn't wrong. have to be a public one, it just has to be in scope in the, in the active okay. window above. So there, so there you go. So it has to be, it has to be um, in scope on this active window. So, so like, it, it, window. you could stop in the loop and, and change I and it'll, it'll pick up where, with the new I that you entered. Oh. It's good stuff.
Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's some good stuff to know about the immediate window. Yeah. See I can, can uh... see I can see some use in that. So for people who use VBA, I will give that four sriracha's. <laughs> All right. 